Rain and groundwater often mistakenly end up in the sanitary sewer. That can cause sewage overflows and overwhelm our treatment plants. This is called inflow and infiltration. To ensure the safety of residents and the environment, our stormwater drainage system must be kept separate from our sanitary system. Preventing these problems is everyone's responsibility. Your municipality also has a role to play in reducing inflow and infiltration. By monitoring the sanitary sewers using methods like flow monitoring and camera inspections, your municipality can identify problem areas, then reduce or eliminate sources of contamination by repairing or replacing defective sewer pipes and manholes, sealing holes and cracks in manholes, inserting a flexible liner into a defective sewer pipe which hardens into an impervious liner, disconnecting known inflow sources such as cross-connected catch basin drains, and installing stormwater drainage systems that will allow cross-connected sewers to be separated. But keeping rainwater out of the sanitary sewer system is really everybody's responsibility. Overflows harm sensitive ecosystems, contaminate homes, increase the cost of wastewater treatment plants and other infrastructure. So educate yourself on telltale signs of inflow and infiltration. Get to know what's really happening under here. The CRD, making a difference together.